All right, we're gonna fit this Eastman with uh, unslotted pins. It came with slotted ebony pins. Um, it also has a ramp, but it's not slotted all the way through the plate. So we're gonna fix that. But first we have to ream the holes out for proper seating. They're still a little high here. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Something else you should do on these is I put a rag in there to catch the wood dust. And I put a mirror in there so I can see it when I'm from this angle. Right. Have a tray for your parts so you don't lose them. All right, these are five degree pins. This is a five degree reamer. Doesn't take much. Yeah, you can see how much deeper that pin sits in there. So we're gonna make room with the slot after we're done with the reaming operation. See, it didn't take very much effort to remove the amount of wood that we needed to get proper fit. Sometimes a full turn, sometimes less. So, all right, now we can move on to the slotting. I'm gonna use these Stumac saws. I've got them in a 0 .028 and a 0 .051. On the high side, we'll use the smaller saw. 
rocking it for the g-string and we'll use the thicker saw for the ea and p just got to be careful getting it started these these help because there's already a adjust my line a little there's already a ramp which gives us a little bit of a guideline here you'll see that I use the cardboard so I've got a t-shirt and this piece of cardboard so if I slip with the saw we're not in trouble guide it with my finger. And you'll see that the string is now seated properly right against the plate. That's kind of hard, I know, to see because of the focus. Let me see if I can get it in there a little bit better. And you'll see that it's, the ball is sitting properly now against the plate at the perfect angle. Really relevant to this, but it's bugging me. I'll do a better clean with some Gordamite next time I change the strings. I think he left it sit on a stand a lot. Yikes. Alright.
used to use this for their bridge plates, but it's got a weird look to it. Maybe it is maple. Maybe it's something else. Some guys that do this all the time don't use this cardboard, but better safe than sorry, in my opinion. I'm going to use the .028 saw again. I might have to do some rocking back and forth to widen that hole because... Even though the string gauge is less than that, the windings and the wrap, of course, make it thicker down by the ball end. That is the hardest part, is just getting it started. And sometimes on the thicker strings, we'll start with a smaller saw just to get it going before we bring in the wider gauge. Perfect. This is about the fifth or sixth one I've done, so I've gotten a little bit better at eyeballing. not we'll switch back to the maybe a little easier considering it's already got this ramp so that kind of helps See, yeah, it's tight. Doesn't want to go down. Don't force it. Should just be kind of a perfect fit.
the strings will. Some people take needle files and get in there and clean that up. It's pretty clean, I think, using just the saws, as you can see. Doesn't look to be a lot of residue left. And the strings themselves will sand that down as you, you know, the tension from them. As you put them in the hole, won't knock any of the dust down. You can see we have pieces of the ebony, the bridge plate mixed in down there. But so far, so good. string strings. They take up a lot of space with that winding. The first few times I did this I had to keep coming back to the, these two and taking more out. I'm going to kind of rock that in that hole a little bit to widen it. in there pretty good what I'm checking for is that when I press it down the ball end is seating right against the plate if the hole's too small then you'll see the string ball end away from the plate itself which we don't want we want that contact which is the whole idea of what we're doing here so we want maximum contact between plate pin and string plus it saves your bridge plate from unnecessary wear using slotted pins which really we know is just a cost savings measure same with the straight holes And that's why you see the boutiques come from the factory with this done already. to get a 
looking for a potentially 56 gauge string if you decide to put mediums on this guitar. I want to have to rewiden it later. Underestimate that one. all right and now we're done pretty simple really you see that um, it's not a ton of wood that comes out shavings really well I hope this helps uh, you can comment if you have any questions or concerns and um, this wasn't a professional video but hopefully you get something out of it because I was looking for one like this when I first started doing this so all right thanks everybody <laughs>